Hey guys, my name is Bentley Bernard, a student for Chromeworks, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change backgrounds when going to the edge of the screen. Alright, to start off the tutorial, you're going to need a way to make your sprite move. You can follow these commands here. Now we're going to need to add in backdrops. Go over to the bottom right corner and you can see a list of options to add in a backdrop. I'm going to be uploading from my computer. I'm going to be having multiple backdrops. So I'm just going to shift click all these and add all of them in. And now I have all four of these backdrops in. Now you guys are going to want to go back to the sprite coding. Not the costume, but the coding. You actually want to grab your starting block. So when the start button is clicked, the next box you guys are going to want is the forever block. And then you're going to want to add a if then, a normal if then. Not the if then, else, but the if then. Once you guys got the if then, you're going to want to go to operators and put in a greater than symbol. In the first bubble of the greater than symbol, you're going to want to go to motion and grab the exposition block. Once you put it in the first circle, you're going to want to change this value to 240. What this block is basically saying is if the X position, which is a side to side of the canvas, as you get to see, you see an X down here. If you see, if I move it side to side, it changes value based on how far I move it. If I were to move the cat all the way to the end of the canvas, it would be around 240. And this is where we're going to make it change backdrop if it's more than 240 on the canvas. So how we do that is pretty simple. We just add in a next backdrop block. Now, if we were to test this out, it would go to the next backdrop, but it would constantly flip through. As you guys saw, there was a couple issue. When it went all the way to the side, it would constantly flip through and we wanted to start all the way back in the start. So it's pretty simple to do that. We're going to want to go to motion and grab a set block, set X axis to whatever number. Now we're going to set this to negative 240. Negative 240 on the canvas is on this side. So it starts over there when we reach this side. So it looks like it's going through another backdrop. And now if we test this out, it goes perfectly into the next backdrop. But now if you wanted to go back into the next backdrop, it won't let us change backdrops. To do that, we're gonna add another list of commands. We're gonna add in an if then under the first if then that we add in. So under here, we're gonna add an if then. We're gonna go to operators again. We're gonna grab another greater than symbol, but instead of the first one, we're gonna grab this one here. So if we drag this down here. In the first bubble, we're gonna wanna put in a X position, just like we did in the first if then statement. So go to motion and then go to X position and put it in the first bubble. And then we're gonna make this, instead of 240, we're gonna make it negative 240. What this is saying, as you guys can see, if I move this cat all the way to the right, it's around negative 240. So if we go higher than negative 240, we're gonna make it change backdrops. So to do that, we're gonna go to looks and we're gonna grab the switch backdrop to block. Now, since we have multiple backdrops, we can't make it go back to the same one every time. So to change that, we're gonna to wanna to go to operators and grab a negative block here. And we're gonna put it in here. As you guys can see, there's a, there's a subtraction symbol in the middle there. And I'll explain how it works once we put in the blocks. So the first block we're going to put in the first circle is in the looks tab. It's going to be the backdrop number block. You guys can see it here. This is backdrop number block. We put it in here and we want to change a value to negative one. You guys just saw it working there. 
now we need to fix it constantly flipping through all the backdrops to simply do that we're gonna make it reset its position once we change the backdrop and we're gonna reset its x position so go to here it's just like we did here we're gonna grab a sec x position and we're gonna set it to 240. now if you were to test this out it works perfectly fine there you go guys i, got, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to change backdrops in scratch if you guys enjoyed this tutorial Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. For more beginner level scratch tutorials, visit our Scratch Basics homepage at chromeworks.ca slash basics.